What if I told you that the key to unlocking your brain's real potential isn't some new pill or a complicated program, but a sound? Yeah, a sound. It's this ancient secret that, believe it or not, we're only just now starting to really get. You know, this isn't some new age idea. It's something that has echoed through time and visionaries like Nikola Tesla were all over it. He basically said, he who solves the secret of vibrations solves the secret of the universe. He knew that deep down everything is just vibration. A huge secret just hiding right there in plain sight. And here's the really cool part. After centuries of this being just, you know, mystical stuff, modern science is finally starting to crack the code. We're turning what used to be ancient wisdom into something we can actually measure and understand. All right, so let's get into it. We're going to explore this really wild idea of the brain's phantom frequency. We'll look at how sound can actually trick your brain, and then how that very sound can be used to tune your mind for way better performance. So this whole phenomenon, it's called a binaural beat. And it's basically this incredible auditory illusion that happens entirely inside your own head. Here's how it works. You listen to two slightly different tones, one in your left ear, one in your right. Now, your brain doesn't just hear two separate sounds. Nope, it does something way, way more interesting. Okay, so how does this actually work? Let's get specific. Imagine this, your left ear hears a tone at 128 hertz. At the exact same time, your right ear is hearing a tone at 168 hertz. So what does your brain do? It calculates the difference between the two, which is 40 hertz, and it creates this third rhythmic pulse. It's a phantom beat that isn't even there in the recording. Your brain is making it up. But wait, it gets even crazier. Your brain doesn't just hear this phantom beat. It starts to sync up its own electrical patterns to that beat. It's a process called neural entrainment, and it means your brain is literally being tuned, just like a guitar, by the sound it's hearing. So you might be asking why this specific combination of sounds? Well, that 128 hertz tone, think of it like a grounding anchor. It's a frequency that sound therapists often use to create a sense of harmonic balance. At the same time, that 40 hertz difference, which corresponds to a gamma brain wave, is known to seriously elevate your focus and your consciousness. So you get this amazing result that researchers call dual state resonance, where you're both totally grounded and highly elevated at the same time. And look, this is not just some cool theory. Let's dive into the actual science, because this is where it gets really exciting. A lot of the research today is focused specifically on that powerful 40 hertz gamma rith. I mean, we're talking about research from places like MIT, and what they're finding is just staggering. Studies are showing that stimulating the brain with these 40 hertz gamma waves can sharpen focus, boost memory, protect your neurons from damage, and get this, it can even reduce the nasty proteins linked to Alzheimer's, like amyloid and tau. It's like it activates the brain's neurological cleaning crew, the glymphotic system, to come in and clear out all the junk. And just to make this super clear, check out this number. In the first studies on mice with Alzheimer's, researchers saw a 50% reduction in that amyloid plaque. 50%! That is the kind of result that makes the entire scientific community stop and pay very close attention. And this isn't just about experiments in a lab. The MIT researchers driving this work are super clear about their goal. They want to turn these discoveries into a safe, easy-to-access, non-invasive therapy for real people, for patients suffering from these terrible diseases. Okay, a quick but really, really important heads up here. As you start exploring this stuff, transparency is key. You're going to find a lot of tracks online that don't tell you the exact frequencies you're listening to. The good sources, the reliable ones, will always be totally clear about the frequencies they use. That's how you know you're getting a safe and effective experience. But you know, this whole idea of healing with sound is anything but new. It's ancient. So let's take a step back from the modern science lab for a minute and journey into the past to explore a set of ancient codes, these specific frequencies that people have believed for centuries hold incredible restorative power. We're talking about the solfeggio frequencies, and their journey is just fascinating. It all starts way back in the 11th century with this Italian monk, Guido Durezzo. He used a special six-tone scale in monastery hymns that were said to be deeply healing. But then, for centuries, this knowledge basically disappeared, as music all over the world got standardized to a different tuning system. It was lost until the 20th century, when researchers started rediscovering these ancient tones and finding out, hey, these things can actually reduce stress and might even have positive effects right down to our DNA. 
So what are these frequencies? Well, here are a few of the main ones. You've got 396 hertz, which is all about letting go of guilt and fear. Then there's 417 hertz for helping you deal with change. And the famous one, 528 hertz, they call it the miracle tone, is linked to transformation, even DNA repair. And then you have 852 hertz for awakening your intuition. It's like each one is a sonic key tuned to a different part of ourselves. Okay, so you might be wondering, what's the real difference between these solfagio frequencies and the binaural beats we talked about earlier? It's actually pretty simple. Remember, binaural beats are a phantom frequency that your brain creates from two different tones. That's why you absolutely need headphones. But solfagio frequencies, they're just a single direct tone that resonates with your body. So while headphones can definitely help you focus, they're not 100% necessary to get the benefits. All right, so we've covered a lot of ground. The science, the history. So where do we go from here? Well, this is where I want to invite you to move beyond just learning about this stuff and to actually experience its power for yourself. Honestly, the best way to understand any of this is to try it, to experience it, to become your own scientist in a way. And just a heads up, this isn't about finding a quick fix. You really have to think of it more like a journey, a process of slowly, consistently retuning your mind and your body. So if you're curious to give this a shot, here's a super simple 21-day guide to get you started. Step one, use headphones. Find a quiet spot where you won't be interrupted. Remember, for binaural beats, this is a must. Step two, just listen daily for about 10 to 20 minutes. Consistency is so much more important than how long you listen. Make it a little daily ritual. And step three, just observe. Maybe keep a simple journal. Pay attention to your mood, your focus, how you're sleeping, your creativity. Just ask yourself, what do I feel? So, we've looked at the science, right from the labs at MIT to the brainwave studies. We've touched on the history, from ancient hymns all the way to their modern rediscovery. And through all of it, one thing has become crystal clear. The key is sound. So the only real question left is, what door are you going to unlock?